Greetings YouTubers. Uh, just wanted to update you on my latest uh, I guess you could say it's a beekeeping project because it is bee related. Um, it's my first endeavor at trying to make uh, mead and if you're not familiar with mead it is honey wine. It has been said that it is the oldest alcoholic beverage. Um, it's got a unique history and if you're interested in it you should google it and look it up. Um, this is my first attempt so I'm by no means an expert I'll tell you that right up front. Um, this mead here on the left is one I racked um, let's see I racked that on uh, 1124 it still hasn't cleared completely yet you can see that there's some yeast on the bottom and there's still some fermentation going on I don't know if you can see in the video but there are some tiny bubbles still working their way to the top so that tells me there's still some fermentation going on um, this one here is a different type of mead and what I've discovered from mead is you can make this in all kind of different varieties uh, any fruit flavor that you can imagine spices you can imagine I didn't know there was such a art to all this stuff but anyway that be said this one is called sizer and sizer is basically um, a wine made from apple cider and this one here is fresh um, apple cider that I got this fall and it is also mixed with honey and um, that gives you sizer I think that this is going to be a higher alcoholic content than this one that's the other thing you can make these uh, uh, meads uh, suit your taste you can make it anywhere from a dry to a sweet mead uh, and everything in between but it takes some experimentation um, basically I selected the one gallon uh, jugs because number one I'm a novice and if I mess it up and ruin a batch I don't want to ruin five gallons so uh, one of the guys in our club uh, does it this way uh, you can do this really cheap as well you don't have to go to the store and buy all this stuff that they sell for wine kits get yourself some Carlo Rossi and the four liter uh, jugs uh, the wine may not be the best but <laughs> have a party let them drink it and then you get a nice jug out of it and it's perfect for making these small batches of mead and uh, I've been using crystallized honey. This is honey you normally wouldn't be able to sell. And you can see it's starting to crystallize there. Um, and that's perfect. You need three pounds, anywhere from two to three pounds per gallon of uh, mead, depending on how you make it. Um, the simplest recipe that I can recommend, well, I can't recommend it yet because I'm still in the uh, midst of making it myself. It's called Joe's Ancient Mead and basically you can Google that on the web and get the recipe and it's very very simple and the ingredients are water, honey, uh, raisins, a, one orange uh, and some Fleshman's bread yeast and you can make uh, yourself a batch of uh, a mead from that um, and that's probably where I guess most people should start and see if they like it so anyway this one's starting to clear out very nicely uh, this one's got a way to go I'm gonna rack this one today and you can see this one has quite a bit of sediment in the bottom here so it's been doing a lot of work there anyway that's the update on my latest uh, beekeeping project hope you like it and if you like these videos hit the button down in the corner and and subscribe and that way you'll get uh, notification via email when new videos come out that's it be happy